Welcome back to another exciting week of Briar Model Horse Judging Clinic. This week we are judging based on collectability, the same horses that we judged last week on breed. So a little preface based again on why these horses, why this class. Every region has different conventions on how they assemble their classes. The region that I show most consistently in will set up a class, a breed class, and then concurrently judge on breed and collectability. So same horses on the table will be judged twice at the same time. Some shows choose to break them out so that they might have a breed class of drafters, but a collectability class based on numbers, trying to put like with like. So you might have a class of drafters and ponies and light horses together just because they all are runs of under 100. But as I said, the region that I show in tends to have code concurrently judged classes with breed and collectability. So that is what I have chosen to do here as well. So again, we have a class of European drafters um, judged on original Finnish plastic collectability. So collectability is placed on rarity, age, condition, desirability, and overall impression. This class will be placed, I will place them as such. First place will go to the Dapple Gray Percheron by Briar. Remember, he was pedigreed in the class as a Percheron, even though he was sculpted as a Belgian. He was sculpted in 1964 by Chris Hess, and the Dapple Gray is made from 1964 to 1967. This particular example, and it doesn't show up as well on video, is a great example of the Dapple Black. So he is exceptionally dark. He has very large splatters. He is very attractive. So he fulfills the quality of rarity. Not a lot of the Dapple Black variety was released or is in collections. The Dapple Grays are fairly common, but the Dapple Blacks are exceptionally rare. He is also the oldest horse in the class from the 60s. He is in decent condition. As I said last week, he has some hoof rubs, but his gloss is in good shape. Overall body condition is very good. If I ever chose, I could have those um, rubs touched up and he would show as mint. Very desirable. So this horse has the whole package of rarity, age, condition, and desirability. So he's a pretty clear first place, first place horse. Second place is our Othello Mold, who we chose to breed assign Poitvin from France. This particular model on the table is also known as Churchill. He was the Briarfest 2018 volunteer model. There were 185 made, and part some were glossy and some were matte. We kind of assume half and half, but knowing Briar, it was probably some percentage thereof. This is a matte example, which is not quite as desirable as the glossy. He is very rare, having only 185 in this color and fewer than that split out into the glossy and matte. Not very old. Indeed, he's almost brand new, less than a year old, in excellent condition. He does have a few factory flaws, but nothing of note. Very desirable, very good overall impression. This particular model is very nice in that color, brings out a lot of the excellent sculptural qualities in the mold. So not quite as desirable and exciting and old as the first place horse, but definitely high on the list of collectors want lists. So pretty good second place. Next we have the Cedar Farm Wixom, sculpted by Donna Cheney. Uh, he, this particular model, um, pedigreed as a Percheron, is also known as Belfleur, is this example of the horse, made for 2003 Jamboree. There were 750 made. There were also several glossed for judges and volunteers. However, the 750 is does include all the mats, so it's not like the previous horse where the number was divided up into glossy and matte. This is 750 of the mats. So rarity, fairly rare. You could only get them if you went to or knew someone who went to Jamboree in 2003. Fairly old, 2003 is a day or two ago now. Time flies when you're having fun. 
excellent condition. Again, just a few sort of factory flaws, but nothing significant. Fairly desirable. This is a great show horse. Excellent confirmation. As we saw, he won the breed class. So the, mo the mold itself is highly desirable and a fairly small run, 750. Although we're used to micro runs nowadays, 750 is still a fairly small number. So a pretty good, pretty desirable horse. Has a nice package, but still definitely a third place horse compared to our first and second place. And finally, our poor little Maureen Love sculpted uh, stable mate drafter. This was sculpted as a Percheron, made sculpted by Maureen Love, released by Briar in plastic. This particular example was a 1990 Sears special run of 5,000. Still pretty desirable and hard to come by. He is a great show horse. Um, definitely good confirmation. And the black is a good example of the Percheron breed. So has a pretty good package. And again, 1990, a little older, probably the second oldest horse in the class. Rarity, however, he's definitely the most common. So he's a pretty solid fourth place. So this is our class of European drafters judged on collectability. First place is our Dapple Black, old style Percheron. Then comes our Othello Mold as the Briarfest um, volunteer model. Then the Belfleur Jamboree Percheron. And finally, our Sears Stablemate Special Run. So that wraps it up for this week. Thank you very much. Leave me any ideas, questions, or comments down below, and I'll put together another run of horses next week. So hope you join me then. Thank you.